Okay, so one of the questions that I get asked a lot through my blog is what kind of equipment do I use, how do I carry the equipment, and what do I use all the various pieces for. So I'm going to start off with the first video in this series, just talking about some of the cases and the bags that I pack the equipment into, and just generally what I have in my collection. Uh, in future videos I'll go on to explain what each of the pieces of equipment are useful for, and uh, we'll start off right here with the Pelican case. So this case is a Pelican 1610. This is uh, the case that I store most of my lighting equipment in and travel with this if I'm traveling by car or traveling by plane. So what have we got here? We've got on this side four Vivitar 285s. Uh, these I mostly take as backups, don't tend to use these anymore, but once upon a time those were my go-to flashes for the first couple of years of my career. Uh, over on this side, four Nikon SB80 DXs. These things are a little bit more robust than the, the Vivitar 285, but still have a nice fast flash duration, one one thousandth of a second at full power. So those are my main small flashes, four of those guys. Over on this side, small little case here uh, by Think Tank Photo, it's called the Trim Changer, and uh, as you can see it's just perfect for storing pocket wizards in. Uh, i got four pocket wizards in there, and the main strobe that I use is the Ellen Chrome Ranger system, so back here we have the head for that. This one is called the Freelight A. It's uh, a little bit faster flash duration than the regular head. So we have that. And that is powered by this. The Allen Chrome Ranger RX battery pack. Um, these things are 1200 watts per second. And I tend to use that as the main light for most of the stuff that I shoot. Over on this side of the case, I have all the cables that are needed to attach all the various flashes to the pocket wizards. Um, I keep these in these small little bags just to keep them all separate. These are the ones for the Ranger. These are the ones for the small flashes like the Nikons. Um, beneath that I have waterproof covers to throw over the flashes if it starts to rain. Umbrella holders to go on top of the light stands and uh, a few colored gels, tripod heads, and a uh, case full of spare batteries. You can also pick up this accessory to go inside the lid of the Pelican case. Um, got a bunch of different pockets in here, which uh, are pretty useful for storing those few little extra things you need. Got some gloves there, shooting gloves, the PAL Photog. And on this side, flash brackets for uh, attaching multiple flashes to one light stand. There's a whole bunch of those in there. Here we have motor cables for remote cameras, spare lens caps, battery holders, lens cloths, gaffer tape. Don't go anywhere without gaffer tape, you're always going to need some of that. And a bunch of different colored gels to go on the flashes. Another couple of things you're going to need for the Ellen Chrome Ranger is these light modifiers. A couple of different ones here. This one is called the Sports Reflector. It's pretty big, not very easy to travel with, but it spits out a pretty focused beam of light, so you can usually get an extra stop of light out of this one than you can when you're using a small one. If I'm traveling light though, and skiing with the pack, then uh, it's pretty useful to have this little one instead. Uh, I believe it's a 45 degree reflector, and uh, that spreads a nice wide beam of light. It's pretty, pretty useful if you're shooting powder in the trees on a foggy day, this one. So, something else you're going to need for all this stuff is some light stands and tripods to put them on. Um, I have quite a collection of old light stands and things lying around, but Here's a few of them. Uh, this one, nice cheap tripod, about 40 bucks off eBay. Tend not to spend too much money on some of these things because they're going to get 
put in harm's way, knocked over by the riders, and probably get some legs snapped off at some time. So we have a tripod, this one here, nice short little light stand, only goes up a few feet but it's nice and compact for carrying around if you're skiing with it, and uh, works really well for putting out the back of a rail or something like that where you don't want it too high and you don't want it to get in the way. This one, a little bit more expensive. Um, this one's for the Ellen Chrome Ranger, so you know that thing's worth a lot of money and can get blown over quite easily in the wind, especially with that big sports reflector on. So this one goes up to about eight feet tall and has a much wider leg spread on it. So this one's pretty sturdy. And